In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips how to properly remove ice dams so you don't end up in a disaster like you just saw. My name is Dimitri, I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I actually have ice dam removal business. I've removed thousands of ice dams and I wanna show you what went wrong with this video. You need to understand what ice dam is and how it forms to properly remove it. Ice dam removal, I often say it's very close to tree removal, but in reverse. When you have very tall tree, you have to start all the way at the top to chop it in manageable pieces so you don't destroy everything around it when it falls. But with the ice dam, what you wanna do is, it's very heavy piece of ice if it's really big size like you just saw in the video. So it's important that you stop chopping it from below. So what I would do first, I would chop uh, with a low pressure steam, you know, kind of end of it, then go up and up and up until you're all the way to the top. Now, if this thing weighs 500 pounds, it's a lot of ice. It will destroy everything below it. You know, now you can cut it to 50 to 100 pound pieces until you're all the way to the top. It might take you a little bit longer, but it's worth it because you're not gonna get as much damage down below. My second tip is, Make sure you understand the gravity and when it's gonna fall. What I didn't understand in this video, they have crane, they have equipment. Why in the world they start all the way at the top? Because gravity does not lie. It's pretty much straight line. With a tree, you have to manage, you have to think about where the tree is gonna fall. Well, you're not cutting ice dam in a space when after the cut is gonna float in the universe. You always know where it's gonna fall. So my advice would be, a lot of times what we've done in my career, we would put really tall ladder, use plywoods, protect the ground. Because it falls with a high speed uh, and it's very heavy, you can actually navigate it. I mean, I've destroyed a few ladders, but I would rather destroy a $200 ladder than destroy the house. Very important, protect your ground. If you do have maybe a little uh, roof here, put two, three pieces of plywood so when it hits, it does not destroy the roof. And lastly, the trickiest one is make sure you understand that what will happen to the window if you don't do it properly. Windows made out of glass and they don't like contacts with the glaciers, right? So you don't wanna introduce them to each other because it will freaking break. So here's what you wanna do and here's what you wanna understand. If you have a window right here, and if you start cutting here, usually what we do is we make channels to cut it in manageable pieces. But even if you start at the top, you know, a person usually will, will, will be removing ice dam from the top. We're gonna think about safety. We're gonna tie ours uh, somewhere higher. But if you're just doing channeling, and it gets disconnected from the roof, what do you think will happen? This is literally like one big L uh, shape size, huge icicle. So what will happen, it's actually happened to me one time. I had to uh, pay $500 for the glass. Once you cut it here, it literally will tilt and will touch the window because usually overhang is only one or two feet and this thing can be up to eight, 10 feet. So it literally will chill back and will touch that glass and will shatter it. Obviously it's a winter, it's a disaster, it's emergency service because you wanna protect the house. And like I said, in Boston 2015, I ended up paying for one. It was about 500 bucks, ate my profits on the job, it was my fault. Icicles actually were all the way to the ground. I could not chop them. I was very careful at the top, but it was just no way around it. I knew the risk, I went for it. And what happened for me, the icicles were so big. It was one level house. I could not chop it because if I start chopping here, I was afraid that I still would break it from the top. It was one of the trickiest ice dam jobs I've had. So what I did is I started doing these channels and at one point my ice dam broke in the middle and kind of caved in and broke huge window. That window was like six, seven feet. So make sure you think about your windows. Make sure you think about how you're gonna chop it and protect everything on the ground. If you follow those three tips, you should be fine. Again, ice dam removal was one of the toughest businesses out there. Be careful, make sure you use safety. Even if you're a roofer and you like to walk on the roofs and you feel safe, this is not the time to be a macho. Make sure you, you don't get on the roof without a rope. Make sure you're always safe. Make sure you protect your grounding because this thing can kill a person every year. A lot of people die from ice dams. So it's very important to do it properly. Comment below what you think. I'll see you in the next video.